everybody, this is Daniel. I'm in Tokyo, Japan, and I'm in Ginza, which is the uh, high fashion kind of upscale area. And uh, it's got a lot of cool buildings. So today I'm gonna just be, or tonight rather, I'm just gonna be kind of cruising around and see what's going on. So this right here is the Uniqlo flagship store. It's like, it's massive. <laughs> So if you're in a Uniqlo, that, that is a must. <laughs> but I think everything on the street just has a lot going on and the, uh, the uh, building facades are what's like most famous about it. So they have like, you know, things like that. Just a lot of, you know, a lot of cool patterns and all sorts of that stuff. Dior store over here. Hmm. It's kind of cool, like you're like you're just rolling through Las Vegas or something. Everything is so bright and in your face. <laughs> I think we'll go ahead and cross here. Is that a Ferragamo building? Wow, that's cool looking. Every building is beautiful. Yeah, like each, each building is kind of unique in its yeah. own right. This is uh, the original Tokyo taxi style right here. <laughs> the Dior store we walked by. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. So like, aside from Fashion. Ginza is also known for its very like, you know, high-end dining and you know, super fancy sushi restaurants and you know, like the famous Jiro from Jiro Dream Dreams of Sushi. His sushi places in Ginza, and so yeah, it's just like an upscale part of Tokyo. So <laughs> it has time. I am here with my mom still. If you see my other videos, uh, she's joining me on my Japan trip. Yeah, it's just like super Uniqlo. <laughs> um, this is the world's biggest Uniqlo, I think. <laughs> That's massive. Can I have a coffee on this floor? It's top. Yeah. So there's the uh, Fendi and Valentino storefronts from the other side of the street here. Uh, I mean, it's just most parts of Tokyo are just gonna have like a lot of stuff going on. And these kind of have their own flavor, which is always fun to explore. And that's the Prada right there. <laughs> yeah. And we're actually coming up to the, uh, the Seiko Clock Tower building. Which is like one of the more iconic ones, I guess.
I don't know, this is cool. You got Longchamp right here. I'm pretty sure most of the major fashion houses are represented in Ginza. This is kind of the main crossway, I would say. The uh, Seiko building is right there. And yeah, I think this is like an iconic building. Actually, over there is like the Nissan showroom. Hey, let's uh, walk over to the the uh, Nissan thing. I'm gonna go check out this uh, Nissan showroom. Like last time I was here, they had like some pro pro prototype cars, and now it looks like it's the 400Z. You kind of see it. And what also is really cool is the, these are all the historic Z's. Let's just get a quick, quick look at it. Oh, so cool. It's really small. I'm surprised it's such a tiny, tiny like little car. Yeah, it's a yeah. serious sports car. That's why in the origin mm -hmm. you say it's a lot. Why don't you? Why, mommy, you don't, you don't want to buy it between uh, this car and uh, M? But you ended up M buying an Accord, right? Uh, or? Uh, uh, I don't know, that's a long, long while. Oh, okay. Between that and then a BMW, the little M1, 2, 3, or Z1, Z2, M3. Oh, the Z4? Yeah, Z4, I always oh. buy that one too. Oh, okay. That's between those two. Oh, okay. Interesting, but that, I think they're looking at car. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's like almost as wide as it is, as it is long. That, that thing's gonna be fun to drive if you ever get a chance, for sure. Uh, I feel a little, little water drops coming. It's been a little rainy in Tokyo the last few days. Um, so we're back out there. So to kind of orient you again, that's the Seiko building. And then there's some cool buildings down there. We'll go check them out and then come back and then walk up there as well. So just kind of give you the full tour of uh, Ginza. There's like these, one of these buildings is like animated and that's like the one I'm trying to, that's what I'm trying to find. You guys hear the Seiko clock tower going? Uh, you got the Cartier building and the Chanel building and then of course the Louis Vuitton. This one not so much with the animation but they got a cool, they got the LV patterning going on. But this, this building is like some, some sort of wow. This is the one you're like supposedly able to control with your phone to change the color animation, but I have I have no idea how to do it. Oh yeah. Here we go. You can like scan the QR code. Yeah, but you can change the serpent sparkle. Oh, I see. Oh, wow, look. Let's yeah. do white. Yeah. Yeah. Is that how it works? It's crazy. Yeah. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm just, I'm trying to change. Thank you. Did I do it? Oh, it worked. Oh, That's cool. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. So it actually works, thank you. <laughs> do, do you want to try it? No? Yeah, that's okay, I'm just going to take a picture of this. Yeah. Wow, so you can just change the... Oh, got a little water on the lens there. You can just change the um, actual sparkle. Let's like see if I can do it from out here. <laughs> so now it's green, and then now I'm going to do the ice blue again. That work? Oh, it did! 
Oh, that's super awesome. Wow. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. <laughs> this rain's getting a little annoying, but um, I'm gonna do the uh, kind of see it live. It there, you, there you go. Let's start. And we're gonna do like it's green now, right? Yeah. So let's try blue. Super cool. I like controlling a building here in, uh, <laughs> here in Japan. <laughs> That's pretty cool, right, Mom? Yeah, what is this? A lizard snake? It's a snake, I guess. It's like a snake wrapped around the building. Oh, wow. Uh, the LV from the other side, too. I think the, the, how do you even pronounce that? Bulgari? I don't even know. Yeah, but, I think the V yeah. is uh, all this up. Yeah. But definitely oh, yeah. that, that, that chain changes. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that was super fun. <laughs> there it is again. Um, we're going to uh, just head over to the main street again. Um, the rain's coming down a little bit harder, so. I'm not sure how much time we have left to uh, finish the video anyways. <laughs> it's a right turn. Oh, it's red. <laughs> We're spacing out. <laughs> it just changed or we just walked? I think we're just spacing out, yeah. Whoops. <laughs> But yeah, so the, the plan which my mom was just re referencing is we're actually going to go to the uh, Ginza Tokyo Metro Station station, and that's how we're going to get back to Shibuya because that's where we're staying. We're going to head up here and see if we can't, can't hit that. coming in and I feel like the temp the temp temperature is dropping a little yes. too. It's getting chilly. It's like 10 degrees chilly. Yeah. Actually tomorrow it's gonna be like in the 40s so it's gonna be it's gonna be definitely chilly. Today was like mid 60s so it wasn't actually that cold. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is the Ginza station but actually I want to kind of go up the street a bit to see what's there but Grand Seiko flagship watches. Yeah, this brand is pretty cool, actually. I like it. That was a nice uh, watch. Yeah, like they're they're pricey. They're still like six, seven, eight thousand dollars. I was surprised. I oh, really? Yeah, it was a little oh. diamond that he gave me a long time ago. Oh, okay. I'm just randomly learning about all the stuff my mom has today. <laughs> Gucci over here. Actually, it looks like there's a couple more entrances to the Ginza station, so. Uh, I got some coach and boss, like, uh -huh. It's just a little bit of everything here. So cool. I mean, thanks, thanks for joining me. Kind of, uh, Exploring Ginza a little bit here. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and uh, I think I'll go ahead and end the video here, and hope you enjoyed following along, kind of seeing what Tokyo is like now. So yeah, see you in the next video.